Hey gang, welcome back to Power Boating in Paradise with members of the Florida Power Boat Club, Stu Jones, along with Ryan McCoy here in the Pompano Beach studio. And we are moving rapidly through full coverage of the Miami Boat Show Poker Run 2023 edition. Uh, closing things off now with episode four and final coverage as we end up down in Isla Morada having fun on a beautiful weekend in the middle of February. So we are going to wrap things up here with this show. But before we get started, let's thank our sponsors. Our presenting sponsor for the FPC 2023 series of events is Mercury Racing, celebrating 50 years of wide open. And by these sponsors in alphabetical order, Big Thunder Marine, Blackwater Boats, Cigarette Racing Team, Concept Boats, Deep Impact Custom Boats, Doug Wright Power Boats, Fountain Power Boats, Midnight Express Boats, Nortec High Performance Boats, Performance Boat Center, Plantation Boat Mart, SD Marine Group Isla Morada, Statement Marine, and Top Gun Performance Dealers for Cigarette Racing. So before we head down to the Florida Keys, let's backtrack just a few days here at Grove Harbor Marina. This is during the Miami Boat Show. Uh, Jackie and I went over here for the day because they were doing demo rides. It was all part of Mercury Racing's uh, unleashing or unveiling, if you will, <laughs> of the new uh, Mercury 400 RV10. And that barge contains a bunch of uh, big pipes that are going to be installed at Grove Harbor. They came all the way from Oklahoma from our team Black Diamond owner. But uh, yes, indeed, Grove Harbor is going to have this big finished dock. And right here at the dock, the brand new Nortec 400 Super Sport. Uh, we got a chance to ride on the boat. It's got a set of the new factory Mercury Racing 400 Rs. Uh, so the V10s all together, 40 cylinders uh, going to be pushing this 400. Captain Pear will be our host today on this new Nortec. Jackie and I got a chance to take a ride, as many of us did. Remember, this was about a three-day event for Mercury Racing, and all of the major manufacturers were represented here. And there's Miss Jackie getting her boat ride. Now, we just uh, stepped away from the convention center and took an Uber ride over here to Grove Harbor Marina for the afternoon, and what a beautiful day it is. Uh, but even though this boat has been out for a year, because remember it was launched at the Miami Boat Show a year earlier, and we did get a chance to see that boat at the Emerald Coast Poker Run a few months later. But this is, I think, hull number three, as we were able to determine. Hull number two was on display at the Miami Boat Show this year. That boat's going to be on the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. But looking around, you can see that this Nortec 400 Super Sport has got a lot of nice creature comforts. Everything that you would expect from Nortec High Performance. A lot of the same features that you saw in the 390 Sport. Uh, but this boat is remarkably different in the sense that they've completely changed this whole center console. It's essentially the same hull, the same beam, which is around 10 foot, I believe. Uh, but of course, got the brand new Mercury Racing 400 Rs. And I'm not going to get into all of the technical specs of the motor right now because we've already heard everything and we've already been to the launches and we've seen the performance specs. They're absolutely amazing. Today, we're going to find out how good they are with this new Nortec 400 Super Sport. We took a ride out to Stiltsville, which is a little bit farther than normally that the demo rides would go, but it was a special favor from Captain Perry. He wasn't too busy that afternoon. We wanted to check out the cottages at Stiltsville because just a couple of weeks earlier at the Pompano Nautical Flea Market, I met a group of guys from the Miami Springs uh, Powerboat Club, and they actually retain control of some of these cottages out here. There's only seven or eight left standing. But this particular one, I think it's number seven, is the biggest one. You can see it's got a lot of docking. And they offered the opportunity for Florida Powerboat Club to go and maybe one day use the cottage for a function. So I was very excited to hear that. And I'm going to follow up on that lead a little later. So thanks to Nortec and Mercury Racing and, of course, Captain Pear for a great ride today. You see it, guys, 86 miles an hour. So let's get back to the action here at Isla Morada just a few days later. Look how nice the weather is on this Friday morning. We're getting ready for a sponsor shoot. The winds are picking up just a little bit, but still clear skies and uh, nice temperatures for mid-February. The Camus uh, 41 on display from SD Marine Group, a beautiful offshore center console, the biggest boat that Camus makes, uh, a new model uh, on display here, as well as uh, about four other boats from our sponsors. And these are all on display right out in front of Postcard Inn along US Highway 1. Uh, there is the uh, Big Thunder Marine Fountain 38 SCX on the left. 
uh, plantation boat marked 41 Blackwater on the right. On the left, the red boat, that was a Sensation 32, and there once again is that new Camus. What a great lineup from our sponsors, but I think everyone is thinking about getting out on the water today because the weather is so nice. Remember, we're in Isla Morada, so kind of a hotbed of boating where we can go in any direction, uh, whether it's southbound down to Marathon or Duck Key uh, or even further. Some people decided to go to Key West, or you could head back northbound up towards Key Largo where you've got at least five or six places to stop for lunch. You can see the docks have already cleared out here, and there's still a handful of boats that are wanting to get out and do the manufacturer and sponsor shoots in the coastal waters here near the resort. Uh, so that's part of the plan today. Meanwhile, Tyler's got to take mom out for some breakfast, maybe. I don't know what they're doing, but I was looking for my scooter. Now I know where it went. <laughs> and we've still got a lot of boats coming and going on the inside basin. Uh, again, because of those sponsor shoots, this is Plantation Boat Mart showing up with a brand new Deep Impact 399. So it will team up with the other Deep Impact 399 on the left. That's Eddie Collier's boat. Two of them are going to get out for a ride and uh, take part in our sponsor shoot. And it's uh, time for the Meanwhile, <laughs> the FPC Girl segue. <laughs> Getting ready for the photo shoot. Well, that's really what we like to do here on a quiet morning when everyone's out. Uh, we've got three lovely FPC girls. There's Chloe getting ready, putting on a little shine. And, of course, we've got the Miss Hannah on the right, and that's Maddie in the center. So between the three of them, uh, we had really a nice setup for uh, Pete, our photographer, Pete Bowden, and as well as our videographer, Ryan and really the guys just said hey guys we got pretty girls we got nice sun we've got stew cigarette we've got a lot of boats here so uh, give us an hour with the girls and we'll bring back some magic so here's the magic guys thanks to our photo and video crew and of course the beautiful fpc girls And of course, a very special thank you to the Miss Hannah from Key West for improving our FPC girl crew with uh, bringing along Maddie and Chloe, newcomers to the team, and to Pete and Ryan for getting some great content uh, for this show. And it looks like the ladies are on that new Nortec 400 Super Sport. So let's catch up with Terry Sobel from Nortec to find out more about this exciting new model. Well, it's been a long time, but here we are back at Isla Mirada at the fabulous postcard and boy we've been coming here a long time and love what they've done with the place but florida powerboat club we're back again uh 28th anniversary i believe uh lots of nortex here 39 so uh, we've got our new 400 behind us new 400 sport a uh, great boat uh bigger cabin bigger head bigger uh console bigger seats uh all still in the uh, same uh trailerable 10 foot beam but what a nice boat, lots of really nice features that uh, we've incorporated in this new boat. Happy to see uh, Jesse and Stephanie Newman here, Rob brought it down for us. And anyway, looks great, uh, happy to be back and you know, what else can I say? 
Well, thanks to Terry. And yes, indeed, it has been a long time and nice to be back at Postcard Inn. But it's all about this new Nortec 400 Super Sport running alongside its uh, sister ship, the Nortec 390 Sport. That's Great Canal off in the distance. Jesse and Stephanie Newman, certainly not new to the game, not new to the sport, and not new to Nortec. They've owned several Nortecs in the past, but Jesse was telling me just how much he loves this 400 Super Sport. And indeed, just as Terry has outlined, a lot of changes to the layout, same 10-foot beam, so it's easy to trailer, but a lot more room in the cabin. I think the ladies love it. And the larger bolsters uh, gives us just a little more stand-up seating, which I know we always like for poker runs. Going to take you a year and a half to two years to get one. So, guys, give your Nortec dealer a call because you're going to have to line up for these precious babies. And I think I'm going to join in that lineup one day because I'd love to own a Nortec again. It's been a while. This is the Nortec 390 Sport. Greg Cannell from Legend Marine of Texas. Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs, uh, all color matched from the hull to the engine cowlings. Uh, Greg is obviously a guy who loves to go fast. He knows how to handle a boat. And he certainly knows how to spec out a boat because he's known for adding every available upgrade and option you can put on a Nortec. And it all pays off in the end because I know that all of his customers appreciate it when they get their hands on one. Putting on a great show here for Nortec High Performance. Greg Cannell from Legend Marine Group. And thanks again to Terry Sobo earlier for joining us. And of course, to all of the Nortec owners who came out to join us for this 20th annual Miami Boat Show Poker Run. And continuing with our sponsor showcase now, it's going to be Fountain Power Boats, including Big Thunder Marine, as well as Cortez Cove. But Dan and Nancy Wall are actually registered participants for the event. We invited them to come out and join us because they've got a brand new Fountain 38 SCX with all of those features that make it a great poker run boat. One of the things that's really cool about this boat, look on the back, it's got triple Mercury Racing 400Rs, the brand new motors that were just introduced at the Miami show just about four days earlier. Uh, so they were able to get themselves in line for a set, and the boat is running absolutely fantastic. It's a family weekend for the walls, but Dan did confess he spent a little time with this guy. This is Anthony Vera in a Fountain 34 SC model. It's got triple 300 mainline Mercury's on it, and he said that Anthony helped him uh, just find the, the sweet spots with the boat to get it to run a little better. Uh, Anthony Vera now, though, from Big Thunder Marine. That's the local dealer here in Key Largo for Fountain. Uh, they came out to join us uh, for the event. Anthony's putting this 34 SC through the paces. He's got Chloe and Maddie joining him for the ride. I think this would be a great safety management boat for the Florida Powerboat Club. Hint, hint, if anyone's listening out there. And now it's our third fountain that we're showcasing today. This time it's Simon Williams, uh, who is uh, representing Fountain Powerboats as well as his dealership Cortez Cove in Bradenton, Florida. This is an all-new Fountain 38 SC model, like the one we saw earlier. This one's got a different power option, though. It's got triple Mercury Racing 450Rs, but all of the bells and whistles, and Fountain obviously have really stepped up their game with this center console. This new 38 SCX model is not Grandpa's fishing boat anymore. It's a performance cruising center console, ideal for poker runs with an upgraded sound system and a lot of creature comforts, so you can pile all your friends on board and go out and have a great poker run experience. And it's one more time with Andrew Rocco. Not really one of our sponsors, but he just kind of snuck into the game and helicopter guy said, well, it looks like he wants to run and go play, so we better chase him down. Of course, we had to charge him extra for this. <laughs> anyway, Andrew Rocco, everybody loves Rocco. He's a longtime Poker Run supporter. He's had this boat now for about three years. Has had a lot of fun with it. A pair of Mercury Racing 450Rs. A great performing boat. He's done a lot of poker runs, but he's ready to step up his game. He's got a 39 MTI coming soon. So Rocco's got all his buddies on board today for the poker run and probably going to be the last time we see them in this 34 Victory Cat. So we just hope that the new owner who picks up this Victory Cat stays in the FPC and comes out and does some poker runs with us. And here's a boat we've been looking forward to seeing here on this sponsor shoot. Scott Conrad from Team SLT of Fort Lauderdale, uh, the new Canada's 43. And we've only seen one of these before. I saw it down at the boat show, and he just got the boat, took delivery, and it's going to be his first stocking 43 Canados, a pair of Mercury V12s. That's a 1,200 horsepower altogether. And it's a big offshore cruiser built in Italy. Uh, the Canados line, of course, very well known for building high-quality performance cruisers and yachts. I mean, I'm talking big yachts, too. Uh, but a little while back, we saw the 41 Canados, a much sleeker, 
uh, performance center console with a pair of outboards, a good performing boat. We photographed it actually with the FPC crew. So keep your eye on this Canados line. Uh, the builder, Michelle Carcente, is a very, very well-known, highly respected builder. So I'm excited to see what's coming from this Italian shipyard. And of course, Scott Conrad and the SLT collection in Fort Lauderdale going to be representing the line here in South Florida. And now it's time to showcase Deep Impact Custom Boats from Miami. And of course, their dealer is Plantation Boat Mart, just a couple of miles down the road in Tavernier. Uh, they brought up this uh, model right in front here. It's got Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. We saw it just a few minutes ago docking. And the uh, Plantation crew are piloting this boat. And on the other side, that's Eddie Collier and his new Deep Impact 399 with Quad Mercury Racing 450s also. New-ish because he took delivery of the boat approximately a year and a half ago at the Emerald Coast uh, Powerboat Week event up in Destin. But here they are now running alongside. You can see the quality of the build. And both of these are the newer model with the new windshield and a different T-top design, but very well put together. And again, a custom boat. So you're never going to find two deep impacts that are identical. A lot of options in terms of how you lay out your interior and how you want to do your exterior graphics. And of course, different power options now with Mercury Racing offering so many choices. Looks like Eddie Collier's got the throttles pushed forward. I'm guessing he's on his way to Key West because I know when he gets out in the water, he likes just to run. So if we don't see Eddie later in the day, I'm guessing he's going to be somewhere in Key West Harbor. And now we're catching up with uh, J.R. Aiden and the new Doug Wright 38. That's a full race boat. Remember, it's only February. Race season doesn't start until late April. So this was the perfect opportunity to get out and shake down the race boat and get out and have a little bit of fun uh, with his fellow club members from the Florida Powerboat Club here on this beautiful February weekend. And now we'll spend some time with the gang at Performance Boat Center. Brett Manier here at the helm and his lovely first mate who's got that sign out saying, buy your boat from Performance Boat Center. Man, you got her trained quickly. I'm impressed. <laughs> But yes, indeed, this is a Sensation 40 CCX that Brett was telling us about. It's powered by Triple Mercury Racing 450Rs. They just took this boat in on trade, so it is available. Not sure if it's sold yet, but I'm guessing probably it is. Of course, Performance Boat Center is the number one dealer, exclusive dealer really, for the Sensation lineup with three popular models, the 32 CCX, the 34 CCX, and of course this 40 CCX Sensation. And let us not forget about the exclusive Performance Powerboat lineup uh, sold by Performance Boat Center. This is a shot we got of Rusty Williams a day earlier on the new 36 cruising through the upper Florida Keys and getting it. Well, this will pretty much wrap up our Friday morning sponsor segment uh, where we spent quite a bit of time showcasing these new models, many of them that were on display at the Miami Boat Show. But right now it's all about the postcard in here in Isla Morada as we fly over this beautiful resort that has been home to this Miami Boat Show poker run for many, many years. Uh, nice to be back and uh, again, a lot of upgrades to the property, a new management team, and we've really enjoyed our stay here for the weekend. Things pretty quiet here late morning as we say farewell to our helicopter crew, We're gonna fly back to Pompano Beach uh, and uh, return after doing two days of photo and video with the club. Uh, so thanks to that crew and really just going to be a, a fun afternoon now is, uh, <laughs> of course, our cheerleader there, uh, Hagen, on uh, the new Midnight Express 52 v test. I'm sure that they've got plans to go for lunch somewhere. Uh, there was a lot of Midnight Express here at the event. They had five of them out for the photo shoot. We saw that on the last episode. Uh, but right now, it's sort of the time where people can decide, well, am I going to go back to the dock and settle in for the afternoon and go start drinking some frozen fruity drinks? Or are we going to take advantage of this day and head off to a nearby lunch destination, which could be, you know, Hawks K Resort at Duck Key. That's about 20 miles. Uh, <laughs> oh, you got to love her. She is just the energizer bunny. Uh, or like I did, just came back into Postcard Inn and tied the boat up for the afternoon. Uh, I wanted to get back with my crew and get everybody uh, in for a nice lunch here at Postcard Inn. Of course, we have lots of options here on property. Uh, but a pretty quiet and otherwise uneventful afternoon as so many teams have gone off to their various destinations for the day. And that's what we want you guys to do. You bring the boats down here to Isla Morada, and this is a fun place to hang out uh, late in the day and all evening. But in the meantime, I think we want to see as many people get out on the waterways and enjoy the fantastic weather that we're getting here in the middle of February.
Well, here comes Eddie Collier and uh, first mate Emma on the Deep Impact 399. So it looks like after their photo shoot, they just went out and did a few laps. Uh, they didn't head for Key West as I expected that they would, but I know that Eddie's done it in the past. And I think it was the winter fun run uh, a month earlier where one day we we're like, where'd Eddie go? And he's like, I called him up and he's like, oh, we're down in Key West too. <laughs> So uh, good to see people that are really excited about the power boating lifestyle and passionate about it in every way. So I think this is a good time to just uh, let the shots play out. It's a casual afternoon, but I will remind everybody that now we have already planned ahead for the Miami Boat Show Poker Run uh, 29th edition. Again, it's going to follow on the heels of the Miami International Boat Show in uh, late February. So get on your uh, calendars, guys, and mark that one down. It'll be updated on the club website in about another month by early fall. So uh, if you enjoy this event, if you want to join us again, we can handle about 80 boats on this run. So keep your eyes on the FL Powerboat website uh, for the upcoming schedule. Well, as the day faded away to the evening, we can uh, still see that the weather held out. It was beautiful. And thank God for that. You know, as an organizer, I had my fingers crossed uh, because we have uh, an outdoor venue for Friday evening over here on the beach. And uh, like I said, we got lucky and we had the perfect evening for the party. There's all the awards all lined up. And of course, the poker tables up and running with all the FPC girls. And it was a really beautiful evening and uh, well catered and we had some great food and everybody just kind of shuffled over uh, from the other side of the property and a lot of people got there and said, wow, I never knew this was there. And this is where the old Rum Runners used to be, if anybody remembered the old days at Postcard Inn or back when it was called Holiday Isle Resort. Uh, so this venue is really ideal, it's really popular for weddings and special events. And Got everybody all lined up uh, to help out for the evening. Got the family on board to help us here at this event. And it's kind of a wrap up for us because after the Friday night party, which is gonna feature all of the sponsor awards and the President's Choice Awards, as well as playing out the poker cards, uh, then we've really wrapped things up uh, at that point. And that gives us a Saturday as a play day. But of course, we still have a lot of activities lined up uh, for the following day. And as much as I love this venue, I still think it has a few challenges. So I'm trying to move things over closer to the marina and the Tiki Bar for next year's event. So let's get ready for the awards party. We've got a lot of uh, President's Choice Awards and sponsor presentations uh, to give out tonight. So let's get things going. And starting off with our sponsor presentation, Cigarette Racing is up first. Uh, nobody here from the factory, so we invited all of the cigarette owners to come up. Uh, and in fact, we had 14 cigarettes registered on this 71 boat event. So that was a strong showing. And just a few to mention, our newest is Catherine McCormick and this 41 foot cigarette Nighthawk. And of course, Rick Regal, who's been around the club for a while, put on a great show with this cigarette 42X powered by Mercury Racing 1100's Team Smoking. Next up are sister companies, Deep Impact Custom Boats and Blackwater Boats. Uh, Mark and Eileen Fisher on hand to receive this award. Along with their dealer, Dennis Delatore from Plantation Boat Mart, he brought the entire crew to join us for the evening. And we saw these two boats earlier, these new Deep Impact 399 models, both of them powered by Mercury Racing 450Rs. And with any luck, uh, by next year's Miami show, we're going to see the new Deep Impact 499 model. We'll keep you posted on that. This presentation went to Nortec High Performance Boats. Uh, Terry Sobel representing the factory. Jesse and Stephanie Newman, owners of that new 400 Super Sport. And there's Greg Cannell and Jennifer from Legend Marine Group who brought their Nortec 390 Sport. They put on a great show earlier with these two models out in these uh, beautiful coastal waters. Congratulations to Nortec on the recent delivery of their 400th Nortec 390 Sport model, not to mention this new 400 Super Sport model. And a very special thank you to Eric Glazer and his wife Hagen uh, for coming out to put on a great show uh, representing Midnight Express Power Boats as well as that new 52 VTS model, 5 Mercury Racing 450Rs. Uh, they were out there running the boat and putting on a great show for the factory photo shoot. Look at that, guys, all lined up. Uh, the 52 leading a pack of very loyal Midnight Express owners. And now it's the Performance Boat Center team uh, led by Brett Manier, 
Tim Gallagher and, of course, Rusty Williams and their lovely ladies. They put on a great show, as they always do, and have been longtime supporters of this annual Miami Boat Show Poker Run and the Florida Power Boat Club. And I did make a bet with Brett here at this event that I would make the annual cigarette rendezvous at Lake of the Ozarks, and indeed I did. And their entire team rolled out the red carpet to Jackie and I for our first time on that event. Thanks, guys. And special thanks to Statement Marine. Uh, Nick Buis couldn't be uh, there to attend for this event, but he did send one of his new owners, Craig Blankenship, with his 35-foot statement uh, in attendance, his very first poker room with the club. That's got to be exciting for Craig to be brought up on the stage to accept on behalf of statement uh, factory team. So Craig had a great time. He's all the way from Michigan, but he said he had a wonderful experience. And here's Danik Laskowski with his 38-foot statement center console. And we're now kicking off our President's Choice Awards, starting with Steve Presley winning Best Peyton Graphics for his 48-foot NPI Extreme Induction. It was a tough call to make on this award because there were three equally beautiful 48 MTIs on the same event. And the Best Team Name Award went to Alex and Lindsay Alanis for the team name Never Not Working, of course, not with a K. And it was a rare sighting to see their 36-foot Carrera, which was built in Miami. Even more rare was that pair of Suzuki outboards. And winning for the best center console of the event, Eric and Hagen Glazer, along with uh, the marketing manager, Leslie Puentes, for that new Midnight Express 52 Vitesse center console. This 52 Vitesse is really outfitted beautifully. And ironically enough, they already built a 60 Midnight Express, but they've downsized to this 52, and I think that it has the perfect blending of uh, performance and styling and luxury. And it was nice presenting Scott Conrad and his first mate Dustin with the best poker run boat, that new 43 Canada center console with a full cabin down below. Wally Castro on the left, uh, their Puerto Rican dealer, joined them for the presentation. And a very special thank you for George Ariano for his continued support. He registered three boats for the poker run, but it was that 47 victory Team Orange Crush that won him best catamaran for the Miami Boat Show poker run. And indeed, it is unique in every way, recently rigged and repowered with Mercury Racing 1350s. And of course, that was all done by the experts at TNT Custom Rigging. Rick Regal is always up for putting on a show with his cigarette 42X. It's powered by Mercury Racing 1100s. That's why I gave him the Best Performance V-Bottom Award. He gave us a good show offshore in the early stages of the event. The first boat that was photographed on Thursday morning in the offshore waters before the poker run even began. So thanks to Rick for putting on a great show always. And it's always fun to see newcomers and new blood to the club, but Catherine McCormick, her husband, Jeff Jones, and their crew won the most enthusiastic team for their spirited energy. They attended with this 41 Cigarette Nighthawk team, Misbehaven. Grant Bernardi is all the way from Minnesota. He attended in his 37-foot DCB, and that won him the farthest trailer award. And it's certainly not his first time winning this award, but Frank Bolte came all the way from France to join us with his 44-foot MTI Team Shark Rider, winning him the farthest traveled award. And winning the Good Samaritan Award was Simon Williams and his first mate, D. Babcock, for helping out another team who had a breakdown early in the run that's Robert Conti and his wife joining them for the entire weekend riding aboard Simon's 38-foot fountain. They had a great ride with them and nothing else that gave Simon a chance to use that second row of bolster seats in this 38 SCX model. And it was the new kids on the block that won the sexiest crew award. That's Shelby, soon to be Axe Commit in the 38 skater team Zero Discipline along with her girlfriend uh, who joined us all the way from Arizona. And it was kind of a special celebration for Shelby because it was also her birthday weekend. Her and Sean are soon to be married in the Florida Keys just a week before the Key West Poker Run. And there's always room for a couple of consolation awards. In our version, we call it the Broken Propeller Award, which went to two different teams. 
And we were happy to give this award out. The best dressed crew went to Team Blue Gotti, Chris and Lori Nazetta, along with their two sons, who were always sporting those cool team uniforms that matched the boat. So glad to see this family had a fantastic time on the Miami Boat Show run. So let's congratulate all of our Poker Run winners, starting with third place, which went to Rick Regal in his 42 cigarette team smoking. And second place went to Michael Lacoste team hang and bang, 37 foot midnight powered by Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. It was their second poker run in the midnight. They had attended the Key West event back in November. And congratulations, first place went to Bo and Tiffany Renfro, Team Dirty Money, the Skater 36, powered by Mercury Racing 700s. Here they are getting their first poker card at Grove Harbor Marina. And we're probably not going to see much of them through the rest of the year because they're going offshore powerboat racing. Many of you have already seen pictures of the Team Dirty Money out on the race course. And congratulations to the team for getting through a recent crash on the race course. They've got a new boat coming and we're excited to see it. What a fantastic evening it was and a great way to wrap up a wonderful day of boating. Nice to be spending it with the FPC staff who did a great job. Of course, my wife, Jackie, and my son, Tyler, who joined us for the weekend. So a great festive evening, uh, but it's not over yet. We've got another day to play. And now time to move on to day three, Saturday, and it's going to be a wide open day with a pretty casual format for everyone. But on the agenda is visiting uh, J.R. Aiden's house in Key Largo, where we're going to have a nice raft up party. A great way to enjoy another beautiful day in the Florida Keys. And just as the party got going, uh, this shot pretty much sums it up, guys. Uh, I got up on the second floor looking down from the balcony, and there's the money shot. All the boats rafted up to that big, long, probably about a 300 or 400 foot pier going out to deeper water. And off in the distance, it looks like they're still coming in. Uh, that's a pack of five Midnight Express uh, owners who probably went off to some uh, local destination for lunch. And then they're just capping off the afternoon to join us for this little raft up. But you can see we got a lot of boats tied up here on this long pier uh, and a nice uh, shallow beach with plenty of water toys uh, to play with. Uh, JR really got us set up nicely here at this venue. And there's a good shot of his backyard with that nice sandy beach. And, uh, you know, this is a very quiet and protected bay in Key Largo. It's actually one of the prettiest bays, I think, uh, due to the sandy bottom. It's got a beautiful watercolor. About a mile and a half up the road is the Playa Largo Resort, so many of you are familiar with this location. And that background uh, sound is actually a live DJ. In fact, we hired the same guy from the previous evening uh, from the Friday night party. Uh, to come out and join us and uh, it was a great setup for everybody and a perfect way to spend that uh, last saturday afternoon here on the miami boat show poker run and once again thank you to jr aiden from doug wright power boats along with his family and friends for rolling out the red carpet and giving us a great party to wrap up the weekend we are just about to wrap up this fourth and final episode with feature coverage of the miami boat show poker run but before we do that guys i want to share with you my new segment called by the numbers which breaks down our registration uh, roster in terms of who is there and what they brought to run. So let's start off with who is there, where they came from. Uh, we had some international representation both from Canada, one team, and from France, another team, as well as uh, the rest of the fleet. Well, that was 69 teams from the United States. So let's take it one step further and break it down by state. From Florida, we had 29 registered teams. From New Jersey, six total. Ohio was four. And the following uh, states all had three registered teams. That's Maryland, Massachusetts, Georgia, Michigan, and Minnesota. And the following states each had two registered teams on the roster. That would be Arizona, Indiana, New Hampshire, Tennessee, and Texas. And uh, each having one registered team on the roster is California, Illinois, Kentucky, Missouri, North Carolina, and New York. And moving on now uh, to the manufacturer classes, and this is always interesting. And it looks like Cigarette uh, took the top manufacturer award. Remember that we had 71 teams registered, and we had 14 cigarettes on the Poker Run roster, followed by MTI with seven teams. Then it's Nortec with six registered teams, followed by Midnight with five. Deep Impact and Statement, Doug Wright, Skater, and Fountain all had three registered teams on the run. Victory Cats, first time we've ever seen two on a run. 
followed by Sensation with two boats registered, DCB and Outer Limits, all with two boats registered. And the following teams, just to give you a really a wide variety in terms of the manufacturers represented, uh, one each here for these teams. So Apache, Arth, Avante, Canados, Carrera, Chief, Metal Shark Marine, Motion Power Boats, Pershing, Phantom, Renegade, Spectre, and Sunseeker. Of course, that was Wynn Farnsworth with that one-of-a-kind 007 Predator. And let's move on now from hull builders to engine and propulsion manufacturers. I think we all know where this is going to go. But it is interesting to see that we had some unique uh, manufacturers represented. In the diesel category, we had three boats represented. Ox Marine uh, power on that Metalcraft Marine. He was the safety boat. Man diesels were in a Pershing. And MTU diesels are in that Sunseeker Predator. And gas engines, uh, including one each from Chief Engines, Yamaha Outboards, and Suzuki Outboards. I think we've seen all those boats on the run. And what does that leave, guys? Well, do the math. 71 registered teams minus those six. That leaves 65 teams on this event roster with Mercury or Mercury Racing Power. So that may not be news to many of us who have been in the sport for a very, very long time. We all rely on Mercury Racing and Mercury Outboards and Stern Drive products uh, to power our machines. And we love them for their reliability and, of course, their performance. So once again, thanks to all of our sponsors and thank you to all of our participants for joining us on this 28th annual Miami Boat Show Poker Run. Guys, we are moving forward very swiftly now with our series uh, covering the 2023 events. Next up is going to be that spring Key West Poker Run in March right around the corner, guys. You can't afford to miss that episode. It's got a lot of great stuff. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you'll get an update every time a new episode is released. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming Poker Run events in 2021, as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club, and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page, and you guys know who you are, and I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer, Ryan McCoy, in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right, and always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.